two, one, go. Robots in action here in qualification match 57, 2980, the Whidbey Island Wildcats trying to make their way up onto the red charge station. 2046 and 3070, both looking for second game pieces. And it looks like Bear Metal's the only one who's gonna pull that off. Pronto gets a little bit hung up, but they get free as the drivers take control with the Blue Alliance in the lead, 31 to 25. Here's the Generals, 36-36 with their robot, Scott Fiendish Iro dropping some game pieces for the Red Alliance. Now they collide with Bear Metal, making their way back to the loading zone. 36-36 gets on their merry way as 2046 goes back alongside their Alliance partner, 68-31, and those two blue robots add to the Alliance score. 54-35 to now at the Blue Alliance in the lead. Pronto and the Generals give a little bit of an excuse me, making their way around the red community. Now 36-36 trying to get over, change their mind, go around the charge station. And that cone is dropped, locked, and ready to rock. Five points on the board for the Red Alliance. Matched by another five from Team Pronto. 30-70 helps the Red Alliance close the gap. 76-47 now on our live real-time scoreboard. Two red robots, two blue robots, each in their loading zones. Bear Metal has dropped a game piece for blue. Now they cross paths with the High Desert Droids as 7.53, fresh off their interview with Kevin Ross in the queuing line, shows that they are not out of it just yet. That cone finds its way onto the upper row node. That's five points for the cone, five points for the link. Blue Alliance well on their way. In fact, they have just earned themselves a rank point with the four completed links. Approaching 45 seconds to play, 93 to 67 is the score. Red Alliance trying to hold on, 3070 Pronto waving their manipulator, but just now inching forward, unclear if they're having mechanical troubles or just trying to be very careful with their operation. But either way, they've now got 30 seconds to contribute to the Red Alliance scoring efforts. 753 High Desert Droids stopped still next to the Blue Charge Station. I see the signal light flashing, indicating communications problems. Hopefully they spring back to life soon. Here's two red robots making their way up the Charge Station. The Generals join them and one, two, three red robots trying to get engaged and balance that out. They've got three more seconds, two, one, and rushing onto the Blue Platform. A05 Annex and Bear Metal get there just in time as High Desert Droids spring back to life. Referees, once again, would like to take a second look. We'll let them do that and have your scores. Scores are ready for qualification match 57. Up on the big screen, let's take a look and say congratulations to the Blue Alliance. 134 to 112, three rank points for blue, one for red in that match. And I am happy to, wel happy to welcome to the desk here with me, Evan Klein, joining us for color commentary. Evan, you uh, picked up on something in that match. Yeah, Brett, if uh, we take a look at the Red Alliance over on the red side of the field um, up here on the match highlight, you can take a look at Team 2980, who's attending the district championship for their six 